Welcome to the A to Z of Dynamics 365 Marketing. We have reached the letter Q and Q is all about your quota limits. So let's have a look. One of the places that's important to be aware of and get familiar with is the quota limit section. So if we're in the settings area and we go to quota limits, what we're going to be able to see is how many marketing emails we could actually send out, how many marketing contacts we have and how many you've used of those so far. So what is a marketing contact to start with? So marketing contacts are basically anybody, any contact that has had a specific key interaction that's happened against their record. So a key interaction would be things like the contacts being used in a customer journey, a marketing email has been sent, um, they've had an event check-in or registration, a marketing form has been submitted or a LinkedIn form that has been submitted. So what you're going to be doing, and this is not a licensing uh, video at all by any means, but you basically would have had um, a specific number of um, marketing contacts that you had purchased. And from there, you would then be able to um, increase that if you wanted to. So the um, number of contacts that would kind of come by default would be 10,000 contacts, which you can then add an additional sort of number of contacts up to 5,000 each time in blocks. So per tier, you can add those additional um, contacts if you wanted to, or sorry, per block. Um, so also depending on what tier you have, that might be a, a slightly different number. And also you can get contacts in other ways. So there's um, different reasons as to why the number of marketing contacts you have could be different from what you're seeing on my screen or from um, other organizations. So what we have is we see the total number of contacts that are actually in the database. So that is if you think about core dynamics that you've been using maybe for some time and the number of contacts you have in that specific database, that's going to differ between that and the number of marketing contacts that are used. So this one, we have up to 32,000 marketing contacts that can be um, uh, added. I've only got 585 contacts, so obviously I'm never gonna hit that, but I've only got eight of those 585 that have had um, one of those key interactions have been added to a customer journey, sent an email, all of that kind of stuff. OK, what we also end up with is a number of marketing emails that we can send out. Now, that's supposed to be 10 times the number of marketing contacts that you have in the system. Now, I can see that actually that doesn't add up. So, again, sometimes we see slightly different numbers here. Um, what you'll also end up with is seeing, OK, well, how many days are left in the current cycle? So I have 10 times the number of marketing contacts um, that I can send out in terms of email messages, but then it resets every single month. So there's 13 days left in this current cycle. At the end of that, it'll reset again. So then I've got um, X number that I can be sending out. OK, um, what we can also see is then percentages used by the tenant and so on. Um, and we also get a set number of segments. We get a quota for how many segments we can create. Basically, that would be either user defined or system defined. And then also we've got um, active dynamic segments as well. So get to know your quota limits. And if you see that you've got a total number of contacts in the database that is way higher than the number of marketing contacts, um, that you're allowed and you see that you're getting closer, might be worth talking to your system administrator to see about getting more marketing contacts added into your environment. So quota limits, know where they are, understand what they're telling you. Um, so you can see, are you getting close? Do you need to perhaps increase things in terms of getting more marketing contacts, which would then give you more marketing email messages that you could send out? Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.